What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. Actually, lots of news to talk about today. Uh, I promise I'll, uh, you know, after the big coffee push this week, I'll give you guys a break next week. I know it's annoying for some people. I get it. Um, but I do appreciate uh, the understanding, even if you aren't interested, that I am trying to build something outside of YouTube. So anyway, go fund me. If you've been following the story of the bodega clerk who clearly defended himself against uh, somebody what looks like either robbing him or arguing with him over the price of a bag of chips while wearing a $300 t-shirt. <clears throat> I don't think if you stacked up all of my shirts, it would cost you $300. Like all of them. You watch my videos, you know I have like seven. I think I paid like 15 bucks each, maybe. I, 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 I don't know. These hats, people send me my hats. I don't pay for my hats. People send me hats to P.O. Box 66, Sussex, Wisconsin, 53089. That's where I get the hats or for gifts. I guess my glasses weren't cheap. But uh, go fund me. So let me, let me actually cover what happened. So Jose Alba um, was, is a bodega owner or operator. And uh, some piece of garbage uh, came into his shop and started arguing with him. And decided, uh, and by the way, this was an ex-con, of course, I can't show the video, but it was an ex-con. So man, the Manhattan bodega worker actually got charged with homicide after fighting off uh, an attacking ex-con in his store over the weekend. Finally home Thursday night after he was released on bail in a highly publicized case. I don't think, I mean, Leave a like right now if you agree, but there, there's no way this guy should have ever been charged. Absolutely ridiculous. If he had let this guy, this loser, take his life, the guy would have been back out on the street in like 12 hours. Jose Alba, 61, arrived at Hamilton Heights apartment around 8.30 p.m. wearing an electronic monitor hours after Manhattan judge agreed to lower his sky-high bail from $250,000 to $50,000. The fact that he was even arrested is, is, is just a perfect microcosm of uh, uh, how messed up our judicial system can be, in particular in New York. Before his release, Alba had been locked up at Rikers Island um, for defending himself against Austin Simon 35 ex-con who was attacking him Relatives and Alba's boss posted the $5,000 needed to spring him on a bail bond. As part of the release agreement, Alba is barred from leaving New York City and had to surrender his passport, ensuring he will not be going to the Dominican Republic on a previously planned trip. Alba was working in Hamilton Heights Grocery on Broadway when he was attacked by Simon, a career criminal with a history of raising his hands to people who stormed behind the counter and shoved him into the wall, the video shows. If you watch the video, it's very clear. The ex-con then grabbed Alba as the frightened clerk tried to get past him, getting his hands on something to defend himself in, that he plunged into Simon at least five times. Should have did it more. Simon's girlfriend also allegedly pulled a poking device from her purse and stuck it into Alba three times in the shoulder and the hand. She has not been charged. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is a situation where you had, where you have video evidence that this guy was defending himself. There's no question about him defending himself. You put him in prison and charge him with uh, ending someone's life, even though it's clearly self-defense. Uh, he had, he couldn't even have gotten away from the guy. He had him cornered behind the counter in his own shop. And oh, by the way, the man's girlfriend who also put hands on him was not charged. A lot of these comments say the reason the guy is dead is likely because he shouldn't have been out of jail. Odds are it's going to turn around that he got a lighter sentence or early parole, but should have been in jail. Nice work, DA. The DA would rather make a, an example of a hardworking person trying to help uh, than go after career criminals. In this case, the girlfriend also 
hurt the old man but wasn't charged, most likely because the DA and PD are calling it a case of, quote, self-defense. Now, New York City law requires the person who is being attacked to flee. So understand that when you live in New York City, you have a duty to flee. You cannot defend yourself. That's, that's New York City. You are not allowed to defend yourself. You have to, tr you have to get away. Even if it seems impossible or even if somebody's plunging a, poking, a pokey device into you, they require you to run away. Apparently with you know a knife in your back. Mr. Alba is a perfect example of self-defense. The city better have his lawsuit money ready because he shouldn't have even been arrested and still not charge, and and they still haven't charged the girlfriend who did the same thing to him, quote unquote, selective justice. Now, on top of this, on top of this, GoFundMe deleted the page, so people were trying to raise money to help this guy get out of prison, just to get him out on bond. The fact that he was on two hundred and fifty thousand dollars is actually mind blowing. He was supposed to let this punk in a $300 t-shirt uh, rob him for a, a bag of chips or something like that. He was supposed to let the guy beat him up. Are you kidding me? I don't even know if I'd, I, I could never live in that, in that state. Now GoFundMe has deleted the legal defense fund for hardworking Manhattan bodega worker holed up at Rikers Island. Um, after getting a whopping $250,000 bond after he defended himself. Jose Alba, 51, is currently languishing behind bars at the notorious jail despite surveillance video capturing uh, the person he defended himself against storming behind the counter of the bodega to attack him. Alba's family insists he was acting in self-defense. I 100% agree. Relatives immediately launched a GoFundMe to help raise funds for his sky-high bail but and legal fees after he was hit with a second-degree charge, but the page was mysteriously removed Wednesday night. GoFundMe says, Our terms of service prohibit fundraising for the legal defense of, of crimes. At this time, the funders have been removed and all donors have been refunded. We all know that GoFundMe is selective about that. They certainly let people raise bail funds for the super soldiers during the summer of love. We know that's true. The page had already raised $20,000 for Alba when it was suddenly removed. Now under GoFundMe's terms of service, the platform can't be used for the legal defense of an alleged crime associated with hate. Controversial Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg had faced backlash over Alba's case after his office brought the charges and then pushed for $500,000 bail for the father of three at his arraignment on Saturday. We will defend this man, United Bodegas of America's president, Radamus Rodriguez, told the Post on Thursday. The man was behind the counter. Alba does not deserve to be in jail. It's not right. It's very sad. I 100% agree. Rodriguez vowed to launch a new GoFundMe to help cover the legal fees and plan to rally outside the DA's office in Lower Manhattan next week. Good. Everyone should show up there peacefully. These bodegas are mom and pop shops. This could have happened to me. It could have happened to anyone, said Rodriguez, who runs a bodega in the Bronx with his wife and son. Rodriguez says he's also seeking help from the NRA to help strategize on making it easier for bodegas owners to apply and legally obtain protection to, uh, from the city to defend themselves. We are going to defend ourselves. Love it. Alba's daughter doubled down on the self-defense uh, argument, telling the Post Wednesday it was either him or that guy at that moment. 100% agree. She had he'd never hurt anybody. He had never had an altercation where he had to defend himself. This was the first for him. Alba, again, was no known criminal record is now facing 15 to 25 years. Are you freaking kidding me? The guy has no known criminal record and you locked him up on a half a million dollars bond at the time. They didn't lower they did lower it after community outrage. He shouldn't even be charged.
The attack unfolded when uh, for who moved to the U.S. from the Dominican Republic 30 years ago, got in an argument with Simon's girlfriend over a bag of chips. The girlfriend had tried to buy a snack for her daughter when the debit card was declined. She claimed that Alba grabbed the bag of chips out of her daughter's hand, so she ran home to alert Simon. Oh, so premeditated, he came back down. Footage of the incident showed Simon storming into the bodega 10 minutes later and shoving him against the wall. The clerk then defended himself, and the guy died. See, so... Yet another uh, idiot dude white knighting for a woman who started the started it. Not that that always happens, but so many of these guys. I'm gonna show you. You disrespected. You disrespected my wife, my baby mama. I'm gonna now ruin my life, and he literally did. By the way, I think there is a give, set, and go for him now. Um. I feel like there was. I feel like there's a give, send, go for him. Let me actually double check that. Because if there is, I, I want to be sure when I tell you. Um, let's see. Give, send, go. Let's see. Uh, free Jose. Um, this does not seem... That doesn't seem okay so if there is one that i can find that looks good i'll link it otherwise hopefully you know i'll definitely give the guy some money to help with his legal defense because this is absurd if you were informed by this video please do leave a like on it and if you haven't yet click that red subscribe button down below and we'll talk to you again real soon